Home YouTube, this is your arc. Y'all is magnified. Coming back with another very informative video. This video is titled Who to Sue. Okay, guys. Again, this video is titled Who to Sue. So with that being said, guys, let's get to it. Okay, so uh before I move any further, guys, I'd like to stay for the record. As always, I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. That's all, guys. Okay, so now let's get back to the subject matter at hand. Okay, so I titled this video, Who to Sue? Because the simple fact of the matter is, we have guys believing that you can sue the child's mom or you can sue the agency. Which one to sue? Okay, so today's lesson going to be on who's to sue? Okay, me, I already know who to sue. You always sue those who are committing injury to you. Okay, so we're going to find out who's really committing the injury to you guys. Is it the child's mom or is it the state? Okay, because you have guys teaching on YouTube that it's the child's mom who you should sue. Good luck with that, guys. You know what I mean? Good luck with that. You know, because we're going we're to find out who's really causing the injury. Now, as you guys can see on the screen, this is coming from the National Conference of State Legislators. So we're going to read this, you know, and uh, find out who's doing the injuries. So with that being said, guys, let's go. I'm about to pick this up in the middle of the page. Okay, so now let's find out who's causing the injury. Let's find out is it the child's mom slash custodial parent causing the injury or is it the state causing the injury, guys? Let's pick this up where it says states at the top line. It says states must establish procedures indicating when they will pursue such enforcement actions. Now, does it say the mother slash custodial parent must establish procedures indicating when they will pursue such enforcement actions? No, guys. Excuse me. It clearly says the state. Clearly. But let's stroll up. Maybe they made a mistake. Let's stroll up, guys. It says states are required to initiate income withholding and submit all eligible cases for state and federal income tax offsets. So again, guys, does that say custodial parent or mother are required to initiate income withholding and submit all eligible cases to, for state and federal income tax refund offsets? No, guys. Again, they said the state. So that's two witnesses. That of things that the state does. So the number one, state is the ones who uh, initiate the enforcement uh, on you, and they also the ones that initiate the income withholding on you, and they also the ones that initiate the state and federal income tax refund offset on you. There's three things we seen the state do, right? But let's continue up. It says states can waive certain enforcement strategies, such as state income tax refund offsets, liens. Posting a bond or reporting to credit bureaus in this state determines that it, that it is not appropriate given the non-custodial parent's payment record, availability, or other remedies and other related considerations. So again, guys, not only does this state take your uh, income withholding, take your taxes, they want to do start the enforcement, but not only that, they can take your, uh, your driving license, they can put liens on your property. They can destroy, they can bank blankly out, destroy your credit report. They can do all of this, guys, all done by the state. Do you see anything that says the child's mom on here yet? Or a custodial parent on here at all? No, I only see the state, guys. I only see the state doing all this. But let's continue up. It says states have the option to implement their own procedures to encourage compliance with child support orders. Now, does that say... The child's mom or the custodial parent have the option to implement their own procedures to encourage compliance with child support orders. No, guys, it says the state. So again, man, if anybody on here teaching you guys to go after the child's mom, you in for a rude awakening, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. And how much do you expect to get from her anyways if you're going to sue your child's mom? My point exactly. But let's continue. It says some states intercept lottery and or I mean, and other Gambling winners. Others have established a public list of parents who are delinquent on payments and still use, man, still others use car boots or electronic monitoring devices to enforce payments. So, again, guys, again, the state is the ones intercepting lottery tickets and other gambling winners. Does it say the child's mom or the custodial parent? No, it clearly states that the state is doing all this to you guys. 
not the child's mom. So don't be a fool to try to go out there and take your child's mom to court. They're going to ask you, what injuries are being done? Is she the one going there? They're going to, going to, going to, first thing they're going to ask you, you're going to say no. Well, get out of my court. That's all the judge is going to say. He's going to throw you right out the court. You know that the person who's telling you to do this stuff, guys, and you sue your child's mom, can't provide proof of nothing he's saying about himself. You know, he cannot provide proof he got his case dismissed. He cannot provide proof that he got his child's mom case dismissed against him. He cannot provide proof that he uh, sued his child's mom and won. He can't provide proof of none of that, guys. Just all jipping and yapping and talking, man. But let's get back to it. Let's get back to the subject matter at hand. I don't want to, you know, digress at all. But let's continue. More recently, states... Oh, hold on, excuse me, guys. Said, More recently, states are using other tools to increase the reliability of payments to, to uh, support children. Now, does this say... More recently, uh, custodial parents or uh, mothers are using other tools to increase the reliability of payments to uh, support children. No, it does not, guys. Only thing it's saying is the state is doing everything. The state, the state. Get that through y'all guys' head, man. It's the state. It's the state causing the problems. It's the state, man. The state is doing everything, as you guys can clearly see. They're telling you straight out it's them doing it. But let's continue. It says, recent research has shown that offering debt reduction programs, distributing all payments to children, encouraging engagements with non-custodial parents through parenting time agreements, and offering payments, I mean, offering employment services to families are, are affecting ways to help parents meet their financial support obligations. Okay, guys. So, again. It's all done by the state. The state is implementing everything. It's for their best benefit. But let's continue. States are continuously developing policies and practices to meet the needs of families, especially in light of change of family, demographic, and economic circumstances, guys. So, again, guys, again, it's the state doing everything. I can't not tell y'all enough. It's the state. Anybody with a right mind can see that they're telling you right out front what they're going to do to you. You know, the child's mom doesn't have a, a, a say so or nothing they do. She only apply for a service to receive a check. Just like how Satan deceived Eve. Eve seen that the tree was good for fruit and it was nice to make one wise. So she did eat, but she didn't know what was going to come with that. The same thing with the child support agency. They make the mom see that uh, you can get free food, you can get free housing, and you can get free money. Just sign your name right here. But she don't see the repercussions that came with that. Same thing Eve. The same serpent, man. Going after the weaker vessel. The same. The scripture's been right from the beginning, man. They still right. That's why that's my favorite book, guys. But look, now we're going to go to uh, the definition of... Uh, which one I want to do first? Uh, injury. Let's do definition, definition of injury first, guys. Let's go there. Okay, guys. So at the bottom right-hand corner, we have the definition for the word injury. So now we already went over who's causing the injury. They blankly tell us right out front who's causing the injury. The state, they're the ones to do the wage garnishments, the income tax withholdings, driver license suspensions, recreational license suspensions, liens, uh, incarceration, all that stuff they do. You know, not the child's mom. But let's continue. It says injury. Let's pick this up at injury, guys. Bottom left-hand corner. It says any wrong or damage done to another, either his person, rights, reputations, or property. So, again, guys, we already know what all that means. But, again, they're causing injuries in all three parts. They're causing injury in your person, which is your fictitious entity, your straw man, you know, uh, your estate. They're also causing injury to your rights. You know, they, they plainly just took all your rights away and gave it to the estate, you know. Your reputation when they call you a deadbeat dad and all that other nonsense. And they also uh, put liens on your what? Property, guys. So, again. That's injuries done, all done by the state. But let's continue. Let's stroll up. Let's pick it up top uh, where it says, uh, the top line where it says 30. It says, an act which damages, harms, or hurts, which is true. That's what it is. But let's control up, guys. It says, the word damage, loss, and injury are used interchangeable and within legislative meanings. And judicial interceptions. Man, and judicial interpretations, guys. So let's stroll up. It says, The term injury used to describe an error for which a reversal may be had. Means an error which affects the results. So again, guys, if there's an error, then you get a reversal. 
of what the damage is done, guys. Okay, so now that the state came out to you and, you know, caused all this stress and harm and all this injury to you, you can sue for what? Everything they've done, for the injuries done. That's it. That's all, guys. It's a reversal, you know? That's all you can do. You can only sue him who caused injury. The state admits to causing all the injury. But let's continue. It says, uh, civil injury, guys. It's uh, picked it up as well. It says, civil injury in bold black letters. It says, civil injury. Injuries to persons or property resulting from a breach of contract, the lack or criminal offense, which may be redressed by means of a civil action. So again, guys, a civil action against who, though? Against the state, the ones who's causing the injury. Okay? But now let's go to the definition for the word sue, guys. Okay, so as we read prior, they blame out told us everything they doing to us, guys. You know, the state has admitted to all their crimes against us. You know, only thing we have to do is get in there, do everything the right way, and then, yeah, get our suit started. You see what I mean? Against who? The state. Why? Because they are the ones committing injuries. As I told you guys, you can only sue those who are committing injury against you. Your child's mom not committing on those injuries. We know that to be true. Why? Because the state confessed to doing it all. You see? The state confessed to doing it. The state said, yeah, it's us. What y'all going to do about it? Basically, that's all the state's saying. It's us. What you guys going to do about it? Right. That's what they saying. But let's continue. Suit against state. Suit in which relief against the state is sought. Which is, yes. Truth. We need that. We need that relief from that state, guys. That's what we need. But let's continue. It says, within rule of state immunity, from suit without its consent. Again, guys, so it's a rule that states that a state has sovereign immunity, right? Only for the state to waive its sovereign immunity, the state must consent to waiving its sovereign immunity. Okay? But let's continue. It says, one in which the subject matter must be an interest of value in a material sense, to the state as a distinct entity. Yes, yes, yes. Which is all facts and truth, guys. You hear me? But let's stroll up. I ain't gonna give y'all too much. Let's stroll up. It says, let's pick this up where it says, and. It says, uh, in the middle of the paragraph, guys, by where it says 280. We're gonna pick it up where it says, and. And the determination of whether a suit is one against the state. It is not necessary that the state appear on the record as a party. But if the state is the real party against which the relief is sought, the suit is a suit against the state. Again, guys. So let's continue. Although normally it appears on the record as a suit against one of its officers. Why? Because the officer is acting in his scope of duty. If he's, offering, if he's acting in his scope of duty... Then the suit is against their state. Like I told y'all in my last video. The suit is against the state, guys. Okay? Even when they're working in their representative capacity. Now, when they're not working in their representative capacity and they go out and kill somebody, nah, now the suit is now against the officer himself in his personal capacity. Why? Because he took it up on his own self to kill you. That's not a part of his uh, representative capacity. So he don't have the right to kill nobody. Same thing. You know, so now he's personally liable. Okay? So when you try to go in there and sue, you know, uh, Miss So and So in her personal uh, capacity, it ain't gonna work, man. You know, even when you're trying to sue your child's mom, they're gonna tell you, actually, the suit is against the state, son. Why? Because the state is the ones who's doing all this injury to your child's mom to apply for a service. Plain and simple, simple and plain, guys. So with that being said, though, that's all I'm gonna do for the day, man. I'm about to eat this dinner, you know, and that's gonna be it, though. But uh. It's just another quick video for you guys to watch, you know. So with that being said, y'all be blessed, man. Continue to fight. Like and subscribe. You guys need my help. Hit me up in my email at yallismagnified at gmail.com. Make that donation. We get the ball moving, you know. Start bringing towards this freedom. So with that being said, though, guys, y'all be blessed. Shalom, YouTube. Okay, guys. Now, let's just for this young lady. Tell us exactly, again, who's going to be doing all the injury and who's had the power to garnish your wages. You know, take your taxes, uh, suspend your license, throw you in jail, and all that other nonsense. Let's listen in. Get paid uh, through other means. Um, 
in our jurisdiction, one of the most effective ways of, of receiving payment, if you're not receiving payment, is by relying on the governmental entity of the Department of Child Support Services. Um, so they said, have a much powerful, longer-reaching arm. So she said the way to get the money is through the agency because they have a powerful, reaching arm. I told y'all, they're an arm of the state, man. They can reach right in your pocket and take everything you owe. Everything you have, they can take it, man. Why? Because they feel as though they can. And they tell you right to your face that they can, guys. But let's continue. To not only be able to garnish wages, but to intercept tax refunds uh, that would come on in on an annual basis. Um, and or, uh, you know, just seek other, other ways of getting that parent's attention. Perhaps suspending a license or looking to other ways to ensure that payment is made. Um, if you are court order to be paying support and something has changed in your set of circumstances. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it right there though. She basically stated everything I just read to you guys coming from the state legislator and she's saying the same thing that yeah, it's the agency that's doing all this stuff to you. They the ones who have the power to do this. The child mom can't go in your bank account. She don't have that power. She can't get you arrested. She don't have that power. She can't garnish your state uh, and federal income taxes. She don't have that power. But who do have that power is the arm of the state, which is the child support agency. So with that being said, guys, like I stated before, man, continue to fight. You know, like and subscribe. If you guys need my help, hit me up. Yardsmagnified at gmail.com. So y'all be blessed, man. Shalom, YouTube.